वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज वुल्फ फाइव स्टूडियोज एंड हेयर आई एम विद थर्टी एथ डेवलॉग ऑन माई चैनल एंड या आई नो इट्स बीन क्वाइट अ वाइल एंड आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू अपलोड समथिंग रादर एनी थिंग ऑन द चैनल सो हेयर आई एम नाउ बट दैट्स नॉट समथिंग दैट वी शुड वरी अबाउट राइट नाउ बिकॉज बिफोर माई जी पी ओ डाइट आई वॉज एबल टू डू सम अपडेट्स ऑन माई गेम एंड नेमली दैट वॉज फ्लैश लाइट आई हैव इम्प्लीमेंटेड अ लेजर लाइट आई ऑल्सो पेंटेड द होल लैंडस्केप एज यू कैन सी आई रीमेड द होल लैंडस्केप this time it is a bit shorter if i can show it to you guys as you can see some of the buildings are just floating around and some of them are floating around there so now the landscape is a bit shorter but it's just enough for the gameplay story to take place in okay and then i just painted the landscape so i added some materials in the landscape master material as you can see this asphalt and okay so for some reason it is not loading uh there's this texture streaming issue right now and landscape materials are just not loading properly i don't know what exactly it is but yeah, as you can see i've painted with different landscape materials we have this type of an asphalt material here and we have another concrete or gravel here and we have this road asphalt material here apart from that i have added this street light thing here that i created on my own which has two spotlights on it and i've also added this divider Uh, asset on the roads so if we were to look at it on top view that's how the playable bengazi will look like okay so as you can see this is the stuff that i'm laying out um this is the no man's land in the book it was called zombie land so i'm calling it no man's land and i've painted it here this is the annex and this is the other stuff around it this is the short road that you can take to reach the consulate as you can see it was around 1.5 kilometers or something so i tried to keep the scale as close as i can to the real ones but hey let's not go into the details right now so that's the annex you guys have already seen it so there is nothing new it's the same old same old annex i've just repainted the old textures here and yeah that's it but now let's look at the consulate so as you can see the consulate is now complete with lighting if i can put the value 182 yeah so it gives you a pretty accurate representation of how it's going to look in the night time when all of these shadows are here so now the annex has proper exterior i'm sorry the consulate has proper exterior lighting and yeah that's it that's how it looks if you're following me on twitter you might have seen some screenshots that i posted for screenshot saturday and like the normal ones as well so that's that i've also added some tube lights for exterior lighting here and here and some floor lights that we have you know the garden lights that people use and these are also garden lights that i'm using i've also added the same exterior lighting here at toc and at cantina so and yeah i've also added flood lights for proper lighting on the interior side of the exterior of consulate and also if i can set it back to let's say to 70 a whole 90 yeah so it's noon time so as you can see this is the shop assets that i have created these are just the assets that should be there and they have lights and they have a very short radius so if you glow like if you go really close to them only then you can see the assets here otherwise it's going to look just like that okay basically i was in the process of remaking all of the assets that i uh, was going to deploy for the houses and i have done that so as you can see here we have this house and it's a custom made blueprint basically i can make it single story or or two story depending on the blueprint and i can add assets as well like as you can see this ac vent unit or the satellite dishes so whenever you will play you will be seeing different colors on every houses because well that's going to add some variety and these singular street lights here as you can see because the path needs to be lit up whenever we are walking through this and if we walk here we will reach the annex very soon there we go there it is that's the annex yes i'm experiencing some frame drops because there are a lot of lights in this scene right now but when i'll play uh it will be more stable because the lights are not you know turned on during the daytime so let's just quickly see it in action and i'll show you the attachments that i've made recently if i can get it to yeah so if you remember the attachment menu that comes up from z we have this so i can put the laser light as you can see a flashlight i can remove it it's going to look like this i can put flashlight and that's the flashlight so if i go to somewhere dark i can press h for flashlight as you can see it's a proper spotlight it's going to work fine in darker scenes 
and I can press H again to toggle it. If I go back to Z and I press the laser light button and I go back, I can actually press G for laser light. Yes, the reticle is big because I was testing it out, but you get the point, right? I was testing out the projection of the decal on the reticle. It's, it seems to be working right now. Yeah, it seems to be working now. So I can, of course, reduce the size. This is just a placeholder size. Okay, so the laser is working and the flashlight is working as well. So you can have a proper experience. It's not going to align because lasers don't usually align with the reticle of your optic, but it's fine. It's, it's almost there, right? Let me just disable the laser. I can show you guys how it feels to walk around. And soon enough, it will be nighttime. So all of these lights will turn on and you'll see how it looks. And I won't make the devlog any longer than it has to be. So I'll just quickly clear, clear things up and we'll let you have a look at it. Okay. So as you can see, it's almost eight o'clock and yeah. So all of these lights will turn on these row street assets also have some lights on them as you can see but you can turn your own flashlight you won't and it's still hitting around 60 fps which is not stable right now but soon it will be so we have street lights we also have our own light as you can see a tactical light we can point it on objects it's going to look good the night time is going to look good i only have to optimize it and that's all The frame rate is dropping really bad as you can see it's loading objects in and out of the memory and that used to be a thing and it's still a thing so we'll have to find a fix as you can see these are some of the shops that will have their lights lit up when you're close to them because of rendering issues see and that's all these are the street lights that are going strong are going to provide us the lighting that we need so that's how it's looking here right now as you can see these are the twin street lights the ones that have two faces and it's working properly but let's go inside the annex and that's how it is looking i'm sorry the consulate and that's how it's looking these are the flood lights you can very well see and if i move i can go here the interior is still the same there is nothing different there it's just the exterior that i've added some lighting I can disable my torch if I want. Yeah, that's it. So that's all guys. Uh, that's all I have to show you guys for the lighting. And that's it. So see you in the next one. And by the next time, I'll probably have some artificial intelligence set up. And that's it because that's the next key thing. And then I'll have to make some cutscenes. And for cutscenes, I'll have to deploy the characters. And they probably will be meta humans. So We'll see how things goes, okay? Till then, just take care and have a great time. Okay, bye-bye.